All right, Falcon Winter Soldier episode four. I gotta the say Zemo this show. This this was a really good episode. <laughs> it was. Oh, it it keeps escalating. Was it my favorite goodness. episode? I think it was. Honestly, yeah. I mean, just literally just got done watching this, so maybe a little little hype. A little adrenaline yeah. running through the veins, but I think it was a really good episode. I'm just excited. I made a prediction mid-episode. It came <laughs> did. true. We'll get to that. We'll get to that here in a second. Um, it started off with the uh, Winter Soldier. I almost said the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. It was just the Winter Soldier. Armless Winter Soldier at that. Um, with uh, Ayo. 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 Um, and it was a pretty emotional scene, especially yeah. from a character you don't really see give any emotions ever. I liked... Uh... It, first off, it was the motion of trying to struggle, you know, trying to not turn into the Winter Soldier in that second. And yeah. then the, like, yay, I did it! Yeah. No, he, uh, he, he did a fantastic job. Uh, yeah, fantastic job of changing from a, a, a petrified, scared emotion to this joyous, like, just ex- complete, you know, just two extremes, yeah. but just complete change. And he did a fantastic job at it. Talk about range. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then moving on, um, enjoyed Zemo again. Yeah. Uh, what's his name? Daniel Brewer or something like that? I don't know. I enjoy Zemo's outfit Great actor. I really... I, anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> great actor, though. I, I like him in other things I've seen him in. Um, I can't remember anything I've seen him in. I feel like I've seen his face before, he's but like... charming, yet, y- you know he's up to some things. Yeah. He's like trying to murder, uh... Infus Nest over there. Um, oh, that just dawned on me. Oh, you didn't know? No. I, yeah, no. That's, I haven't that's watched Solo is. in like three years. <laughs> you can tell by the hair. <laughs> but, um, and the freckles. But anyway, um, so, oh man. It was funny though, um, you know, he's smashing all the serums and whatnot. Yeah. Um, it, it's and then, cool, because for like a split second you think, Oh, Zemo's about to take this. It's a scary there's, thought. There's a chance a scary Zemo's thought. about to take the serum. But then he just starts smashing I'm glad him. he smashed him. It's very I'm glad against it's, his character. It's in his character in to smash him. Yeah. yeah. Um, oh, he just missed one. He just missed Well, one. I mean, I, he was in the process of it. First of all, oh, at this point... Head. I know, okay, so rewind a little bit. John Walker enters the story, starts being John Walker. Oh, yeah, because right up. before all this happens... Uh, Sam is talking with... It's going uh, smoothly. Going the great. Flag Smasher, Carly. Yeah, going great. And then and John, Walker's John Walker's like, I'm Captain America! I'm America now! Do you think big people will make me mad? I want to be, you know, be... Look at me, I'm Captain America! That's a that's an yeah. exact impression. If you put it, you know, take that audio clip, put it into the video. That's, that's oh, what's exactly that one what meme of the like. uh, the one guy's like struggling? His face is red. He's got like veins coming up, popping out his forehead, and it's like, oh, the yeah, I think <laughs> John Walker when he yeah. hasn't instigated a fight in five seconds. He put a Captain America hat on, <laughs> but um, yeah, gotta go screw things up. And then, but okay, but here's the part that is super stupid to me. It's like one thing. Like, yes, sure, um, John Walker's ideas are not good right now. But on top of that, Zemo is doing what John Walker wants. He's trying to take out Carly. And then he's like, shield to the side of the head. Yeah. It's like, oh my goodness. First of all, probably dead. Not because it's We've a Marvel show. We've seen that show. shield cut through Ultron bots before. Yeah. It really decides what it wants to do. It's true. It's true. But why the side of the head? You could have hit him in the arm. You could have... No. Just not it's hit him? Because very... he was... Almost killing Carly, which is what John Walker wants. Very in character for John Walker to just be like, Zemo, target, hit! But, yes, but it wasn't John Walker killing Carly. So, therefore, it was not good in his books. But if it was anybody else, probably would have been alright by his books. But, no, it was Zemo, so hit Zemo on the head! John Walker probably just imagines a newspaper headline. (laughs) Carly Morgenthau, international terrorist. Killed by Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, alright, so... Oh, yeah. Before we get any further in, I have to announce I made new prints. I'll, I'll hold this one up, uh, too. Well, I was going to do uh, one at a time. You're terrible at suspense, Chris. I, I wanted to hold have them I, both up. Well, I did... It's, a, it's Falcon and Winter Soldier. I know, but I was going to... All the su- suspense was ruined. But anyway, we got what I like to call Captain Falcon, and then we have Winter Soldier. 
I also like to call it Captain Falcon. Uh, why the reason more people don't call him Captain Falcon blows Be my honest. mind. Like, but anyway, on the Etsy shop, in the link, in the description, on your way to there, you can hit the like button and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. And the bell. And the bell, that's on the way too. Did a couple more prints. I had my, uh, my hero shirt on. Well, one of my, my hero shirts on. Um, should have put on a froppy shirt, actually. Because look at this, we got froppy. I've been waiting to do this one for a while. Froppy is my girl, and I really like the way this one came out. I really, really do. Um, might be one of my all-time favorites that I've done. And I then think last you're a little one, biased on that, but okay. <laughs> I, I am biased on that, and that's okay. I also did an endeavor here, kind of hard to see because again, this camera's not great. But a little, little bit of flame sparks popping. I don't up know anything everything. about my hero, but I do like that print a lot. I just, I don't know. Froppy the, or endeavor? Endeavor. The, 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 oh yeah, endeavor's awesome, especially in this latest season right now. Oh, so good, so good. Um, and the last bit of last season as well. But anyway, if you like those prints and you want to see more prints, check it out in my Etsy store. Bye. Back to the whatever we're doing here. Uh, <laughs> so, oh yeah, Wakanda didn't show up. <laughs> Spank John Walker. Just absolutely do. At Shame the end him. when he gets up. They weren't even super soldiers. <laughs> it's just not fair. I keep starting fights I can't finish. <laughs> oh, it's so good, though. Um, God, that was good. Oh, Also, okay, I, I had a question. I wanted to save it for this, though. Do you think the go-go gadget disable arm trick is going to pop up again at some point? Like, do you think... Like, uh, super, like, one of the super soldiers is going to have his arm. Like, oh, I've got you pinned now. You can't move or do anything. He's going to be like, pop, I know how to, this thing pops off. Hear me out. Pop out. Rocket punch! No, no, no. I mean, I don't think it has rockets on it. But do you think, I wish. Do you think it's going to come back into play? Because I personally do. Potentially. When you, when you see something like that, you're like, mm, Chekhov's gun. It's not the, not the last time I've seen that. Okay, but anyway. Chekhov's metal arm. <laughs> just throwing that out there. I was the first person to say it, Okay. If you heard it any other way, they're wrong. It was me. Or they're it's right. It's four in the morning. I said it first. <laughs> um, anyway, a uh, lot of cool action. A lot of good yeah. choreography this episode. Um, Especially with the uh, the Quandans. The uh, Super Soldier? Uh, 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 flag Smashers? No, I was going to say with um, uh, Dora Milaje. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dora Milaje I mean, obviously that was the best. Fight scene. But I also, I mean, I enjoyed, I mean, it was goofy. But the flips and stuff that the Flag Smashers were doing. Yeah. Um, I want to go straight to the ending, but is there anything? I feel like there's other stuff we need to talk about. Um, but the ending, oh, it just got me so ugh, emotions. <sighs> a lot to unpack there. A lot to unpack. So okay, you can we'll, see we'll do the, the build up. John Walker's descent into descent into lunacy. You keep raising your arms up, but it's a descent. In in one way, it's it's a a growing motion though. It is a descent into madness, but also. A, a, a rising Anyways, amount of he going, lunacy. He's going crazy for America. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he, which is funny because I kind of assumed like going into this series, I thought at some point he's gonna get. You know, I, I thought it was like he's probably just gonna lose a fight and be like, oh, I need to get the super soldier serum. And yeah. then I thought that's what was gonna make him go crazy, but he's going crazy before this stuff yeah. in his blood. Well, which. As we all know, in Captain America 1, a uh, German scientist man who put this stuff into Steve, I forgot his name, um, was like, well, this enhances who you are already inside as this episode regurgitated. Well, that's the thing. I, that's what I'm I thought it was going to like hint at him being a little on the deep end. Yeah. And then kind of like, you watched Nuke and uh, Jessica Jones, right? Yeah. I thought it was going to do something similar to that, to where you know he was just yeah. going to get souped up and then go crazy. Well, on that show, uh, it very explicitly said, these make you crazy. Oh, yeah, that too. But, I mean, I mean, in the same, like, kind of vein, you know? Yeah. I thought it was going to go in that direction. But, no, he's just gone power uh, tripping bonkers, like, already. Yeah. And well, it's then... he's kept... He, he's, like, in this mindset of, I'm Captain America. I should be winning these fights that I keep getting myself into and not winning. Now he's so winning. Off screen, he took kind the of. he took the serum though. Yeah, which we see the first instance he kicks one of the flag smashers through a door down bends a staircase, that, whatever it was, and bends a metal bar. Yeah, and then I think who was it? Was it Falcon or, or uh, Bucky that was like, 
what did you do? <laughs> or something like that. It was just a, like uh, a passing comment. I don't remember Because he, he saw that in, he saw that interaction, and then, like, you know, Walker's, like, running off. And I, I want to say it was Falcon. I could be wrong. Falcon was standing there. So yeah, I think it was Falcon. He was like, what have you done? Or something like that. Uh, and he just, like, has no time for him. Yeah. So. He's, he's only, he's red at this point. Yeah. Um, so, when was it that you said your comment? Uh, I said it when he was uh, tied up on the ground. Because during this whole thing, Battlestar is tied up on the ground. <laughs> Which uh, I feel bad for Battlestar you know, he, because he keeps getting beat up he's because just, of John Walker. Yeah, <laughs> it's John Walker's fault that he keeps getting. He beat seems up. like an eye dude, and he, he, he was even you know trying to like be a little bit on uh, when Falcons. they were like yeah when they were like oh let's let Falcon you know go talk to her and he's like yeah that's not that a terrible like a, idea. Dude. That sounds like an idea that let's I won't get shot. beat up in. <laughs> uh, I don't even have a shield. Yeah, but anyway, so at that point. What did you say verbatim? Do you remember? I said, I feel like yeah. Battlestar is going to die, and it's going to be John Walker's fault. <laughs> Which, it, it wasn't, wasn't John entirely Walker's John Walker's fault. Walker's fault. Yeah. I mean, they were in a battle. I yeah. did. I, I kind of agreed with you when you said it, though, or watching the episode. I thought it was going to be more like uh, directly a line of, of John Walker's fault. Yeah. But uh, no, it was just kind of yeah. casually of, of I mean, if you really thing. want to stretch it, it's like, yeah, it's John Walker's fault because John Walker's there and he follows him. I mean, but it was John Walker's fault because, for whatever reason, mm-hmm. Battlestar was leading up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> like, they could have just opened the, opened the door and then just been immediately brought with gunfire or something. Or knife fire, since apparently they There's don't There's a lot of knives. Yeah, I don't know. But, um... Throwing them into concrete pillars? Yeah, throwing them into the ground. That's a, knife. That's a knife doing? commercial if I've ever seen. <laughs> Were there brands on the knives? I didn't, I didn't pay attention. But anyway. Um, so yeah, Battlestar bites it. Uh, he well, gets, theoretically, he could, he could be alive still. Potentially. He did, he did just kind of only go, hey, hey, you awake? Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey. I was kind of expecting like... I think he's dead. Because there's a scene where you get to see Battlestar again, like right after John Walker leaves. Yeah. And I was kind of expecting him to go, like, <clears throat> you know, just like a little yeah. oh god type of thing. I was like, my my lungs are filling up with blood type of thing. Um, but no, you know, he just laid there motionless. So maybe he's dead. Do you think he's dead? Let us know in the comments. Let us know all your theories. I think as it long was... as you wait. What was the thing I'm first said? I forgot. <laughs> I don't remember. I just want to say my thing. Uh, I think it's ironic that the man who earlier in the episode was oh, like, yeah, up. I looked up uh, to Captain America when I was younger. Got killed by Captain America. Yeah. Oh, that was so sad. Cause I, yeah. I felt bad He didn't even answer guy. anything. Where is she? Yeah. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Did the old Bruce Wayne to him, except for a little further. Yeah. Um, He's covered, John Walker's covered in blood. Yeah. And the, like, you know, what was there? 30 people there all yeah. filming him? Yo, but Carly did did her friend dirty there. I mean, in her defense, John Walker now has the serum. Yeah, but she is has a the lot serum. more trained than she is. Okay, okay, but look, she watched her friend die. As there should be some other super soldiers, like of her friends, are, are in the area, right? I feel like you just shoot him. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I feel like she did him dirty right there. Dude was like, I had nothing to do with this. Oh, we forgot a big detail. Yeah, probably. Carly called uh, Sam's sister and uh, made that. Was, that was pretty messed up. That was pretty messed up. That's. It's also showing her little decline. I did into, like in their talk, not into where madness he was like, or anything. I'm no a guy, and he says you're a supremacist. I don't know where that voice came from. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, she was like, me a supremacist? The ridiculous! I'll kill the man. <laughs> oh, but. Who called me a supremacist? I bet I'm better than them. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know. She's like almost trying to be reasonable, but not. But anyway, I'm just saying she did. She did her buddy dirty. Yeah. She watched him get, and she didn't even like. Okay, she could have took the time to run at least, but she's still there, like just watching. And like, I don't know. I felt like she did him dirty. Anyway. Zemo escaped as well. Zemo's gone. While the Dora Milaje were fighting John Walker, another one of John Walker's big faults. Yeah, many mistakes that man has made, including the ending where he's cut, got the shield tarnished in blood. Tarnished in blood. Great, great, like, last panel to end on. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, this was a good episode. This was a really good episode. And that's why, like, some people uh, kind of criticized me that I said nothing really happened in the last episode. Last episode was set up. I'm telling you, this was the episode. This was the... By some people, you mean Jay? Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, because... And, and I didn't mean that I didn't like the last episode. I liked the last episode. I, I enjoyed it. But it wasn't like... It didn't have any any big... <laughs> was that last I had to do it. Yeah, that was last episode. Okay, that was the best part about last episode. Uh, but it didn't have any any big wow factors of any kind. You know what I mean? Yeah. It nothing crazy happened. This episode was crazy. <laughs> this episode was really like oh. So we got two left. Where are we going from here? Space. Bucky's arm gonna pop off again. <laughs> oh, we got a rocket ship. Zemo's following her. What do you think is going to be the end for John Walker? Um, I feel like he's probably going to slip on the shield and die. We're running out of th- <laughs> we're running out of time <laughs> for I realize what I said. well, because I'm I'm actually trying to be logical and think about what's going on. Um, uh, but we're running out of time for um uh, for Falcon and, and Winter Soldier to yeah. get the shield. We've seen scenes of them with the shield. Where are they at? It's probably in the very end. It, is it at just the very least the last episode? Yeah, is it the last ten minutes of the show and they're just training? And they're like, I guess I will be Captain America now. <laughs> now that we've killed John Walker. <laughs> Maybe it's deleted scenes. Because sometimes they put that in training. I know, yeah. Sometimes they do, but... Because uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier did have to go through a lot of reshoots. Uh... That was for other reasons. Apparently that, there was some yeah. kind of like disease or something that was... Understand the plot, and they're like, Which but that could have affected other things. Personally, I wouldn't have cared if it was in it. Like, meh, it's fine. It's fine. I understand their decision to do it. I mean, yeah, I, I don't know. I just Anyways, feel like it was a big waste of money. But anyway, amazing episode. Super excited for next week. Um, again, do you have any actual theories to leave it on, or expectations, or desires, or anything? I what wonder, you- is this going to be the last we see of Zemo? Was it like that the last we see of him, or are we gonna see him more? He's gonna try to kill Mar- uh, Carly Morgenthau. Is he gonna die? I hope he doesn't die. I wouldn't. I like Zemo as a villain. I wouldn't expect this to be the last. Zemo's a fun in the villain, video, or in the episodes. He's one of those guys you love to hate. Yeah. And, uh, well, I mean, love he's... to steal his outfit. I don't know. I think he's still got more to do outside of the series, obviously, but. I don't know exactly what where else he comes into this other than just trying to kill the super soldiers. Yeah. And that's why I don't think he's done. Because, like, he has a job here. You know what you I mean? You think he's going to kill John Walker? Maybe. It'd be kind of nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've done a really good job of making us hate John Walker. Yeah. And that makes yeah. him a good villain. He is Kurt Russell's son. He's Kurt Russell's son. Doesn't have the beard, though. Maybe Wait. he'll get there one day. Yeah. Well, he's got the genes in him. He can just think really hard. And then... <laughs> possibly, possibly. But, yeah, um, I don't know. I don't... Maybe it's like a Thor situation. Maybe he's got to wait for Kurt also, Russell to die to inherit his beard. So we got another little tease of the Power Broker. We didn't even talk about uh, that. Oh, yeah. We still don't know any more about the Power Broker. Some people think it's Sharon Carter. I think it's possible. Yeah, maybe. Although you'd think the one guy, the uh, 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 scientist man, did he did he have direct dealings with the power broker? I don't know. Maybe not. If he did, I feel like Sharon wasn't in there, was she? Was she? Oh, I forgot last episode. Uh, I was so tired last week. I don't remember. Yeah. But here's the thing. Like Even Zima was like, he said something about he's never... Uh, met the power broker only knows power broker by reputation so I feel like power broker is maybe somebody you don't you don't sit down and have a meeting with but I don't know still have theories that could be Zola or somebody too I would like it to be Zola Zola would be cool I would I just want a big robot body yeah that's another <laughs> that's another one of those ridiculous things from the comics I hope they would just throw cause they kinda did it in Winter Soldier he's like a TV yeah that was alright Give me, Give me a big robot body. Give me a big robot body. I think we body. could get there. <sighs> but I guess... What if it's King Shark? <laughs> what? What are you saying? We're ending the video again. Um, if you It was Mephisto ch- all along. <laughs> if you want to check out the Prince, the link in the, the thingy thing, 
Leave your comment if you have theories. If if you think the Winter Soldier's arm is going to pop off and it's going to be relevant later on in the story, um, <laughs> uh, comment. How's my outfit? Uh, don't don't comment about that. That's not important. But um, this didn't cost like a lot of money. I'm sure it, it cost did. me. It probably cost you more than what you needed to spend on it. Uh, just a uh, we'll be back on really? Sunday. We got an awesome comic haul coming up. Really good books. Uh, I just added some more books to it the other day, and I might even add another book to it tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. And we'll see you on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Goodbye. Mm -hmm. Ah.